Hey guys, RTT back here for the video guide. Today I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to boost your internet connection. I was going from around 300 and now I'm talking about 300 download. Literally plugged in to my modem right over here. It's a little wire, ethernet wire. I was still getting 300, but we actually pay for a one gigabyte plan here. So I should be getting one gigabyte and I was getting 300 download. Now our upload is capped at 40. So I was getting the correct upload, but not the correct download. Now guys, I'm going to show you in this video how to fix that because yes, I'm actually now getting around. I'm going to show you guys real fast. I'm actually getting around bam 900 and roughly around 940 is what I average. And that is, of course, you know, thanks to the fact that I actually went ahead and did exactly what I'm showing you in this video. I was getting 300 and I went up to 947 by just going ahead and doing this simple thing. So, guys, I'm going to leave a link down below in the description to this program I'm going to be using for this video. But what I want you to go ahead and do is go to that program in the link in the description. Go ahead and download it. And you're going to see once I go ahead and open it over here, it's going to go ahead and be in my downloads. Let me go ahead and pull this up for you guys. The program card, guys, is TCP Optimizer. And you're going to go ahead and run this as administrator once you can go ahead and open it up once you download it. And you can see right here, this is exactly what it is. It's very easy to go ahead and do. All you have to do is download it, run an administrator, and this is the program. Make this a little bit bigger for you guys so you guys can see it a little bit better. But guys, starting off right away, these are the settings I recommend you do. Now, again, these settings are based on, you know, what works well for me. And hopefully it will work well for you guys. Let me go ahead and make this a little bit bigger for you guys. You guys can actually see every setting I do. And you can copy, pretty much just copy and paste everything I do. And let's go ahead and start off right away. So starting at the very top, this is actually how much you are getting your internet speed. So again, like I said, I get a gigabyte. So I literally max out the whole entire thing. But depending on what your download speed is. So once you go to speedtest.net, and you actually run it, you're going to see what your download speed is. And then you can go ahead and set this accordingly. Again, I'm currently rocking 900 megabytes. So I currently have this maxed out. But if, you, if you're rocking, you know, 50, 30, 20, 10, so on, so on, you move it around accordingly. So, and then again, what you're supposed to be getting, not what you're getting currently, what you're supposed to be getting. So I was getting 300, but I was supposed to get a gig. Next thing I'm going to do, you guys, is uh, I'm going to go ahead and go down to this little right-hand corner right here. It says Custom. This lets us actually be able to change our settings. Now, if you ever have an issue, let's say something crashes, something doesn't work, you can go ahead and go back to Windows Default, and this will fix everything that you changed. So starting off right away at the very top, I'm going to click on Modify All Network Adapters. Click Make Sure That Is Checked. Next thing we go ahead and do, guys, right here is we're going to go ahead and make this 1500 and this MT, uh, TU. Uh, down here, time to live TTL. We're going to set that to 64. For ENC compatibility, we're going to go ahead and disable that. We're going to disable the offloading. Disable the TCP chimney offload. We're going to go ahead and disable the laws send offload. And finally, disable the TCP 1323 timestamps. On the left-hand side here, we're going to go ahead and make sure this says normal for TCP Windows auto-tuning. For Windows scaling, um, we're going to disable that. We're going to go ahead and set the con congestion control provider to CTCP. Uh, for receive side scaling, we're going to go ahead and enable that. And finally, for cold scaling, we're going to go ahead and enable that too. Now, next thing we're going to do, guys, go ahead and go up to here where it says advanced settings. And now we're going to go ahead and talk about some advanced settings. Starting off with our mass connection uh, per server, we're going to set that to 10. And for our mass connections per server to, uh, right below that, we're going to also set that one to 10. For our host re uh, resolution priority, we're going to set our local to 4, our host to 5, our DNS to 6, and finally our net to 7. For our max N or SYN, we're going to set that to 2. And for our non-SAC, we're going to disable that. For initial RTO, we're going to set that to 2,000. And our minimum RTO to 300. Up here at the very top, for our non-best efforts, we're going to set that to 0. And for our do not use, we're going to optimal 1 for that. Uh, network throttling, we're going to uh, click on disable FFFF. 
And for system responsiveness, we're gonna set this to gaming zero. Even if you do not do gaming and you don't do any gaming, always set this to gaming zero for the best internet speeds. For our TCP ask frequency, we're gonna set that to disabled one. For our TCC no delay, we're gonna enable that, enable one. For our top Dell uh, ticks, disable zero. And finally, for our large system cache, we're gonna go ahead and default that to zero and our size default one. Now going down to our max user port, we're gonna set that to 65534. And finally, our TCP time uh, wait delay, we're gonna go ahead and set that to 30. Now, once you go ahead and set all those settings, you're gonna go down to the very bottom here and go ahead and click on apply changes. Once you do that, it's gonna go ahead and then change it to, it's gonna say, um, for best um, results, go ahead and restart your PC, which I do recommend going and doing. So everything goes through, everything processes. And again, go ahead and restart your PC right out there. We'll reboot it. It will fix all the stuff. Make sure everything's correct. Go to your speedtest.net. Go ahead and run another speed test. And you should be at least getting what you are um, paying for. And no longer are you going to be getting fluffed over and getting less than what you're paying for. Guys, if you enjoyed this video and it helped you out in a given way, make sure to like and subscribe button down below. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.